And so Alexa, this is the new Zemi Smart, Smart Matter LED Filament Lamp that I was telling you about the other day. And yes, I was serious, it's a matter supported smart lamp. So do you still reckon you could control it? Alexa? Well, do you? Ha ha ha, you and your jokes. I am Alexa. Of course I can. And in your video today I will prove to you, and Zemi Smart and the whole entire world how Alexa can do anything and why she is the greatest okay, voice okay, assistant okay, on earth. Okay, okay, okay. This I'm looking forward to. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button because most of the time, that is what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this smart LED lamp from Zemi Smart. Yes, it's one of those really cool old style looking bulbs where you can see the filament inside it, but in this case, of course, it's an LED type of filament. And yes, this is also a matter supported smart lamp. So it's definitely right up there when it comes to the technology. It's quite tall in height. If I compare it to a, another LED lamp like this one, which is a six watt LED lamp, you can definitely see a difference in size. And I've also noticed it has a glass nipple at the top as well, which is usually for light alignment. So we'll take note of that when we test it. The quality does look very good as well, but I would expect that being a Zemi Smart product. Okay, so obviously it's matter supported and it just connects over your Wi-Fi but you will need a matter supported smart hub to be able to control it, which Zemi Smart can supply for you. And this is what it looks like. And it's also what I'll be using in today's video. It runs on 220 volts to 240 volts. It's rated at seven watts. So it's kind and gentle on the power bill. It can just screw into your lamp socket with its E27 threaded base. It's also been designed to live a long and happy life. It's said to have a lifespan of 15,000 hours. Now, when you sit down with a calculator, yeah, I was bored the other night. My calculations came to an approximate lifespan of six years. I know, it's a very long lasting bulb. Being a smart lamp, the brightness is of course adjustable and it also has different colored light temperature scenes as well. And yes, it's also supported by Alexa and Google. Okay, that's the specs covered. Now let's put the smart lamp to the test. So as God would say, let there be light. First of all, I need to connect my smart matter hub to my router to plug the power into it the back and plug it into the router and that's all set up oh and by the way the reason my router looks like this is because it packed up a few months ago so I pulled it apart to fix it and haven't put the covers back on it yet now I'm going to pair the smart LED lamp to the smart life app but of course I'll be going through the smart matter hub to do that no I'm just joking I won't be using the smart life app or the two-year app today at all because using Meta supported devices is different and to use them it is also required that you use a Meta certified app as well. And because neither of those two apps are really designed to control a Meta supported smart lamp, the functionality will be incredibly limited and probably not that stable. But that's okay because the Alexa and Google Home apps both do support Meta. So I've decided to use the Alexa app today for this review. But hang on, why does it have to go through a smart hub if it connects over the Wi-Fi? This is because it's Meta, and smart home devices that are Meta certified require a smart Meta hub to control them. Technology is changing fast, guys. I know it can be hard to keep up with at times, but isn't it fun? Why are some of you shaking your head sideways like that? Just stretching? Oh, right. Okay, now that we've all stretched our neck muscles, we're going to add the smart lamp to the Alexa app. Don't worry, I'll skip out all the boring parts for you. So we go up to the plus sign, Add device. Now uh, let's use the shortcuts to make it quicker. Click on the Meta icon. Does your device have a Meta logo? It does. Is your device turned on? It is now. Locate the QR code on your device, which is just here on my label. Um, you can actually also add a Smart Meta device to your app using the numeric code as well. Um, so for this video, we'll try it that way instead. Just find the code. Enter code 0354 oops 651 2453 
and the device has been found and connected. Okay, so the um, Alexa app is calling it First Light. I just want to change that name to something else to make it uh, easier to demonstrate. Someone's in trouble. Okay. Get a name. Let's just call it My Lamp. Okay, and now that we've got the Smart Metal Lamp connected to the Alexa app successfully, we can control it through the app, including adjusting the brightness, which I'll turn down to make it easier on your eyes and the camera. That's better. Right, so the lamp is now on, we can turn it off. And we can turn it back on again. And as I said before, the smart lamp also has a few different coloured light temperature scenes as well, which I will now demonstrate. But watch carefully as I don't know how easy this is going to be to see in the camera. As you can see the LED lights are changing colour. That's pretty cool, right? Well, now things are about to get even cooler. Voice control works perfectly with the Smart Metal Lamp through the Alexa app. Alexa, set my lamp to 100%. Okay. Alexa, set my lamp to 10%. Okay. Alexa, set my lamp to cool white. Okay. Alexa, Set my lamp to warm white. Okay. Alexa, set my lamp to white. Okay. Alexa, turn off my lamp. Okay. Yep, you can change all the different colored light temperature scenes and turn the light bulb on and off, all from voice control. Okay, who wants to see an automation working with the semi-smart smart metal lamp and Alexa? You can't see it because I'm behind the camera, but my hand is definitely up, and that's because I love setting up automations. So I'm now going to demonstrate to you a really cool automation. In the Alexa app, I have just set up an automation, so when my smart door opens, the smart lamp will turn on, and actually, you know what? I'll just get Alexa to explain it all to you instead. Okay, Alexa, open door. Okay. Hi guys. It's me, Alexa. Because the smart door is now opening, I have turned on the Zemi Smart Smart Matter lamp to full brightness. I have also set the color of the smart lamp to warm white. I know. I am a genius. Right? Yes, I agree. You are definitely an absolute genius, Alexa. And now let's see what you and Zemi Smart can do after you close the door. Alexa, close door. Okay. And now because the smart door is closed, I have reduced the brightness of the Zemi Smart Smart Matter lamp to 10%. I have also set the color of the lamp to cool white. That's one way that me, Alexa, can work with a Zemi Smart device. Is it just me, or do you also agree that technology is the coolest thing in the world? Okay guys, I now have my Zemi Smart Smart Matter LED lamp installed on the roof of my kitchenette. Usually this is a simple job to do because all that's required is for you to screw it into your E27 lamp socket. But then that job turns to custard when you suddenly realise your lamp socket is actually B22 and not E27. So yes, it was off to the hardware shop to buy a replacement lamp socket and quickly install it so I could finish the review. But anyway, now that everything is set up properly, I'm going to show you what the light is like in a small room with the smart lamp facing downwards and in the dark. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Google. This is my Google Nest Hub here, which is how I will be changing the colour and brightness of the smart lamp. So here we go.
And that's it. As you can see, it's quite a bright light and it works really well. Can you see how the warm white color, which is what it's set to at the moment, is a strong orange color? Or maybe it's not showing up on camera as strongly as it does when you're standing inside the room. It seriously looks even better at nighttime as well. I also like the way the filament LEDs reflect on the lampshade. That exposed filament design looks so much better sitting in the lamp socket than my standard LED lamp does. Okay Google, turn off my lamp. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of another video. So that's the Zemi Smart Smart Matter LED filament lamp. Apart from the cool voice control features, the fact that it's a Matter supported smart lamp is so cool in my opinion. I'm going to permanently set up the Smart Matter LED lamp in my kitchen so I can set up automations and get it to change through different light scenes throughout the night. Matter is only going to get bigger from here on, and Zemi Smart already have a nice selection of Smart Matter devices to choose from, and you should really check them out. And you can do that by clicking on the link that I've provided below in the description, which will take you to the Zemi Smart website, where you can purchase lots of really cool smart home devices to make your smart home even smarter than it is already. Okay guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. So I hope to see you all in the next video.